meal and conversation. All are invited to the table to hear the message of inspiration and hope from small business owners across the country as we celebrate diversity in culture and cuisine. Welcome to Food Coma, Conversation Over Meals in America, hosted by Cynthia McAllister. Hello and welcome to Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America. I am your host, Cynthia McAllister, and I'm so excited to be here with our guest, Miss Benita Carlisle, who's the owner of Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. But before we start, let's share a little bit of what Food Coma is all about. Food Coma stands for Conversations Over Meals in America. And it's all about celebrating diversity and also celebrating small businesses. So we have small businesses all across the country that is part of this show and we bring them in as guests to share not only a special treat but also <laughs> their journey as being a small business owner so let's get into it miss benita Hi, Carla, Cynthia. Thank how are you, you doing again thank you for having here. me so i see you brought a wonderful dish this dish is sweet potato pies of course <laughs> So let's kind of let's try to dig in and get a little bite of this sweet potato pies, Miss Benita. Oh Benito. my goodness. Let's mm. dig in. Mmm. Mmm. This is so delicious. I'd like to ask you the question. So what is the origin of the dish, the sweet potato pie? Why is it that this was special to you that you wanted to share it on Food Coma? It was special. It is special to me, actually. Um I could imagine how my grandmother's sweet potato pies looked, mm -hmm. okay? I couldn't quite get the taste. And I remember how she would have the caramel cake sitting on the shelf and yeah. the coconut cake sitting on the shelf mm -hmm. and uh, the pound cake sitting on the shelf. And when I looked at the pie, I said, I want the cakes to taste like the sweet potato pie. I don't know where that came from, <laughs> but voila. Because mm -hmm. when the sweet potato pie came out, mm -hmm. I said, this is it, this tastes like my grandmother's, not only my grandmother's, mm -hmm. but it reminds me of my auntie's sweet potato pies. Mm -hmm. And then when you think about it, you have so many different families that are out there. And the sweet potato pie is something that I wanted to create so that it could be year round, mm -hmm. not just for Thanksgiving and Christmas, yes. year around. Yes. And so it feels good mm -hmm. having something. Of course, people make themselves, but sometimes they do not want to bake a sweet potato pie. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm here. Okay. Now let me describe to everybody what this pie tastes like. First of all, it tastes like heaven. <laughs> um, the inside is um, souffle-like. It's light in texture. It's sweet, but not too sweet. And then the crust is just perfect to go and balance out the sweetness of the inside. So it's like melt in your mouth. <laughs> Delicious, okay? Looking for Bonita sweet potato pies. Crazy boy. It is incredible. We cannot keep these in the store. We get asked daily. They run out as soon as you put them in the case. So um, I recommend getting here before they're gone. Y'all gotta come and get these sweet potato pies. Since I've been here for five minutes, she was sold out. 12 13. Sweet potato pie, the best in time. That's what this pie is. It's so delicious. Now, I know you started Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. I'd like to talk more about that journey. Okay. So how did you get started with your business? You know, I would say I started passing out samples mm -hmm. at work. And the bottom part of my card, it says, oh, taste and see, it's good. Mm -hmm. So once coworkers started tasting the sweet potato pie samples, they were like, okay, Benita, we need a pie for Thanksgiving. Oh, we need yes. a pie for Christmas. Oh, yeah. And so that was the actually the beginning. And then once I kept attending different events and things like that, church functions, uh, just actually people wanting to, can I buy a pie? Can I buy a pie? And so in 2012, I officially became Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies, LLC. Mm -hmm. So through the years... I would say if it wasn't for the customers, mm -hmm. if it wasn't for being able to participate in venues and events and things like that, I would not 
be sitting here with you mm -hmm. today. Yeah. So I am so grateful. I'm absolutely grateful for what God has given me to, to do. Yes, definitely. So why is it that you chose to step out and become a business owner? Because that's a hard thing to do. You know, um, number one, I would say it's faith. Mm. And number two, I always look at the need and a want. Mm. So what I wanted to do, I wanted to become a business. Okay. And then when I speak in terms of the customers, mm -hmm. They need a sweet potato pie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any occasion. Right? Any occasion is good. <laughs> so when you have that want and need that comes together, mm -hmm. and then when you come up with the supply and demand, mm. it's a win-win. The only thing yes. you can do is just keep pressing and keep going yeah. and just trusting and believing in your product. Yep. And you got to believe in yourself. Yes. You got to. And I'll tell you. <laughs> Uh, Bonita is a tradition in my house. Bonita pie. <laughs> Every occasion, okay, on the holidays, <laughs> on the birthdays, it's like, okay, we get the pie. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're going to take a quick, quick break and uh, we'll come right back with more of Bonita. Thank you. We were looking for some place we'd never been before. So I used the Key Spot app and found Shell's Bistro. Patricia! This bistro is great. How did you find it? I used the Keyspot app, enter a location, and it finds businesses in event. Oh, here. See? Oh, I love that. All the information in one key spot. Keyspot. Find and share businesses, find and share services and events. All in one key spot. Download for free today. Hi, everyone, and we're back with more of Food Coma Conversations Over Meals in America. And we are here with the lovely Bonita Carlisle of Bonita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. <laughs> now, Bonita, we know it is hard as a business owner to go through and to make it. So what are some um, challenges that you have overcome? What's a testimonial you'd like to share? Um, let's start out, of course, you know, we are all in this era of, um, unfortunately, COVID-19. Mm -hmm. And I was able to demo at Jungle Gems International Fairfield location that's here in Cincinnati, Ohio, mm -hmm. and also uh, different restaurant venues to be able to, to demo because samples is what sells. Mm -hmm. And the good part about it was that by me being able to demo at Jungle Gems, uh, I was able to embrace it. It was a whole lot of customers from different nationalities who were able to sample the pies. Now, when COVID hit, the sampling, uh, that was a no-go because I definitely didn't want to be out in public in, a, in the middle of a store passing out sweet potato pie samples. But earlier, I said supply and demand. The customers were saying, hey, where are the sweet potato pies? They were coming into the stores. Where's Benita's pies? So they gave me a call because even in the midst of that, being stuck for that for those two months, waiting, trying to figure out how am I going to uh, be able to work my business, just having them to call me and say, Benita, if you can just come in and bring the sweet potato pies, put them on the shelf, mask up, and you are good to go. And customers were coming in, picking up Bonita Southern style sweet potato pies. Oh, wow. And so what you have to learn to do is, is not only, I know we always say, make, um, take lemons and make them into lemonade, yeah. but you have to keep talking to God mm -hmm. and keep trusting in him that he will provide and that he will make a way out of no way. Because, see, in the very beginning, when I thought about this idea of, you know, creating, having a sweet potato pie uh, business, the only thing I could think of was this purple fluorescent paper and the, the food trucks delivering Bonita Southern style sweet potato pies. Mm -hmm. So believe in yourself yes. 
And I'm telling you, your customers, that is your foundation of support. Because if you don't have your customers, you will not have a business. So, so Benita, can you share a little bit more of what is your vision for the future? My vision um, actually is to have a mass distribution ah. of Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. Yes. And I keep saying Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies because we have a whole slew of different sweet potato pies mm -hmm. out there on the market. Mm -hmm. But I always say the harvest is plenty. Yes. Get in your lane and go for it. That's right. Because one person cannot satisfy the entire sweet potato pie connoisseur taste bud. Uh -huh. So if you have something that you enjoy doing and you are able to build a clientele, go for it. That's right. And mass distribution, it just comes to a place where as you have experienced um, all of your growing pains <laughs> and it's time to press, mm -hmm. it's time to let it go yeah. um, and, and go for it and then continue to connect with all of your different um, entrepreneurs and shows like this yes. because you never know who's out there watching you and say, know. hey, I got something for you. Yes. So let's talk about some of the areas that you want to um, target. So are you looking to be in like mass distribution in stores like, um, let's say, a Walmart or a Kroger or a Whole Foods? What are some of the places that you're looking to uh, have a place in? One of the places that I'm looking into what is called is untapped territory. Ah, okay. okay. Untapped territory. So I am looking into Whole Foods Market. Uh -huh. um, we have a meeting coming up and practically we're going to see what happens. Mm -hmm. And I believe when you are able to tap into untouched territory, mm -hmm. that gives you an opening for another whole world mm -hmm. of those who have never had a sweet potato pie before mm -hmm. or those who actually are just shoppers with Whole Foods because Whole Foods, Whole Foods is across the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's across the world. Yeah. So you have a whole platform yeah. to tap into. And that's one of my key things is to tap into untouched territory. Yep. Because God will yes. enlarge your territory. That's right. And you can't forget, you can also order her food, her uh, sweet potato pies online. You have a website. Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. So people can go to the website and we'll have that information listed here as well. So you can make sure to check out her special and delicious sweet potato pies. So um, one other question before we go to the next commercial. Can you share as a key spot business partner, how has key spot supported your business? Miss Cynthia McAllister, when I first met her, <laughs> she was talking about this. And since day one, supporting my business with, you know, Key Spot has given me the opportunity to share, to grow, actually to um, increase my confidence. Because as an entrepreneur, we're not always, um, it, it, it's not, sometimes it's not always what it appears to be. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have our own personal lives. We're in our little bubble. Right. But with Key Spot, they will make you turn the key and open up what you have inside of you. Yes. That's yes. awesome. Yes. Yeah. And you can find her, Benita Southern Style, Style Sweet Potato Pies, on the Key Spot mobile app. Yes. Where we have business owners across the country sharing their business and services. And yes, users, you can connect to KeySpot as well and share in any events in your community. So we're going to go to a quick commercial and we will be right back with more of Food Coma Conversations Over Meals in America. <laughs> Welcome back to more of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America. 
sponsored by Keyspot by Quality SAP. And I'm back with my <laughs> wonderful guest, Miss Benita Carlisle, who is the owner of Benita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. So Benita, I want to ask the question, as a business owner, you have to have maybe people that you look up to. Who are your top two role models or people that you look at when it comes to business in the industry? Oh, well, since I've been doing this for a while, over the years, you look at different people who are big influencers. Mm -hmm. It may not be into what you're doing. They may not be bakers, mm -hmm. but my top, I would say, as far as, as bakers, uh, would be uh, Tabitha Brown. Okay. And I would say Martha Stewart. All right. So now and let me add one more thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now the other two, they're not into the baking part of it. Okay. I would say Oprah Win Winfrey. Oprah. And yes. I would say Elania Van Zandt. Okay. So you named a lot of people. <laughs> so let's start with the top two that you named. And I want to ask the question why. So Tabitha Brown. Okay. And why? Okay. Tabitha Brown comes to my mind first because I have been watching her mm -hmm. probably for about two and a half years now, mm -hmm. for, for now. Mm -hmm. And it is the positive energy okay. that comes out of it. And it is taking what you have mm -hmm. and being able to relate it to other people, the audience, for people who are looking for something different, mm -hmm. for people who want to make a change in life. And as far as eating wise, people okay. want to make a change in life as far as eating wise. Mm -hmm. But um, one of the other things that really um, enlightened me was the idea of vegan because I am coming out with a vegan sweet potato Whoa. pie. <laughs> you hear that? You hear that? Yes. So pies I am for everybody. <laughs> okay. No excuses. Yes. yes. I am coming out with a vegan sweet potato pie. And that vegan sweet potato pie, it, it came through trial and error and actually frustration. Okay. <laughs> because yeah. when you start out on something and you say, well, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can um, try and, you know, satisfy my audience. Let me see what can happen. So I tried it out mm -hmm. and it didn't come out like I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. But I will tell you, last year, right. it was August 8th. Okay, got the date. The date. I mean, it was the date that I actually, no, actually it was August 7th. Uh -huh. So 7 is the number for completion. Yes. I sat at my kitchen table. I said, Benita, you are going. You are going to do this vegan recipe and you're going to do it right. That's right. You're going to take what you have out of your right hand and you're going to put it in your left hand. You're going to do this. Mm -hmm. So the next day, August 8th, mm -hmm. I had one of my friends, one of my other uh, mentors, she sampled okay. the sweet potato pie, the vegan, and had a fit. So I've had other individuals, another, another mentor, mm -hmm. sample the pie, and they loved it. So ah. fast forward, after watching uh, Miss Tabitha Brown mm -hmm. on her shows, yes. you know, advertising vegan, I said, this is for everyone. Oh, the wow. harvest is plenty. So me, myself, I am learning yes, <laughs> yes. the new lifestyle. I'm trying to get into it. Yes. So it's all a process, but mm -hmm. this is how it begins. Wow. And for Martha Stewart, mm -hmm. Martha Stewart has been around since I can remember. I love her, um, her apple pies. Um, I like taking her apple apple pies and turning them upside down, make it into an apple pie cobbler. Yes. <laughs> but watching her through the years, she has had her ups. She has had her downs. Mm -hmm. She has remained steady. She has overcome. Mm -hmm. She has survived. And that's what it's all about. Because when people see different things that you've gone, gone through and they see you come back, oh, yes, there's nothing like it. There, there is absolutely nothing like it. Yes. So That's yes, fantastic. yes. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Well, Miss Benita, you know what? 
we're going to get ready to wrap up soon. But I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing your testimony, and being a guest on Food Coma Conversations thank Over you, Meals Cynthia. in America. <laughs> and also, I want to thank you again for sharing your business on the Keyspot mobile app and with Keyspot Business Partners. So one last question for you, I'm the owner of the company who created Keyspot. And my mission was to really support the growth of small businesses all across the country and give back to the community. So we do a lot of things when it comes to working with nonprofit organizations and events to support that effort. And then things like what we're doing here with Food Coma, bringing people together, having these conversations, yes. celebrating diversity all across the country. And that's what we're all about when it comes to uh, the community and with Key Spot. So, you know, Benita, as far as your your thoughts on Key Spot, um, why would you recommend it to others? What would you say to others who don't know about it and, and who should be thinking about considering sharing their business? With I would absolutely recommend Key Spot to others because number one, when you are starting out, you have what is called a blueprint mm -hmm. and you never know where that blueprint print is going to lead you. Mm -hmm. So say, for example, I sign up for Keyspot. I'm signing up for Keyspot. I'm starting out with my business. As my business grows and as your business continues to grow, I'm speaking in terms of the other entrepreneurs, as your business continues to grow, you're going to have something to fall back on. Because as your business grows, you're going to have to have something to fall back on to say, hey, I am a part of Key Spot. Key Spot, Key Spot has been working excellent for me. Mm -hmm. um, it has helped me to expand my business. And it's something that is ground to put on your uh, on your portfolio mm -hmm. that you are a part of Key Spot. Mm -hmm. Yes. So thank you again for that. And just to wrap up. Food Coma, we're here for you and we're here to share wonderful, delicious recipes and you'll learn more about the recipe that we have here. We're not going to give you all the secrets to Bonita Southern's <laughs> pie, but we will share some of the information yes. as far as how you can access the pies as well. Food Coma, conversations over meals in America, brought to you by Quality SAP, home of the Keyspot mobile app. And I want to thank you again. Thank Ms. you, Benita, Cynthia, for being my special for guest today. <laughs> and we will look forward to you joining us in the next episode of Food Coma, Conversations Over Meals in America. I'm Cynthia McAllister. Thank you. Stay tuned to learn the ingredients for Benita's Southern Style Sweet Potato Pie. Workshop, a lot of informative information, and um, I learned a great slogan for my business. And um, the information here was phenomenal, knowing that someone is out there to help you to be successful.
Bonita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies has a unique, distinct, stunning taste admired by those who are truly experienced when it comes to artisan baking. It's rewarding to know everyone from all cultures can experience Bonita Southern Style Sweet Potato Pies. Now taking a look at the sweet potato pie, you can actually see the caramelized look. It serves four people, it serves two people, and it serves one person. That's if you only want the pie for yourself because you are not sharing. Take a look at the depth of the pie. So it's a pretty hefty pie that you can have. Now, I love it because you can be creative. You can put whipped cream on the pie. You can put pecans on the pie. Or you can go again and put some pecan, whipped cream, and add some coconut if you want to. It's all up to you. 